Wait, I just saw something then. There's a few around here. <laughs> That's really weird. It like it stopped and I thought, is it dead? And it went, no, I'm just losing a lot of blood and then ran off. That's your twenty gays, not a twelve. Man. I hit the back. Still, it's all shotgun points. Exactly, yeah. You see nothing, then you see a big pack of them. That's exactly how it is. I think there's two kills here, maybe. I think that was the first one. That was the silver. I'm not sure if we got three or two. I think only two. Oh no. Non-vital. Hmm. Uh, see you later. Silver. It's rifle school. We'll take it. Right, let's see if this is a hut. I think it's just a rubbish female, but hey, three points, right? I 
Revons, thank you for 43 months. I think I missed that one. Non-vital. I died fairly quickly for a non-vital shot. Blimey. I was aiming like here. By the time the bullet landed, it was hitting back there. I should have led the target even more. I am assuming this is a hut, though. Oh, I heard something. Does that bullets travel as fast as arrows? Um, I don't know what it is. The arrows definitely travel slower than the bullets, but... I don't know if the bullets are taking longer to get there, or whether the animals are just moving more quickly than they appear. I don't know. It does appear... I mean, that was a distance of about, what, 70 meters? Which, from when you pull the trigger, that round is over there in a split second. So I don't know why it would go from front to back of animal. Seems a bit weird. Or the lag here. But then again, I, you know... The game is the server, right? It's not like I'm playing on a server. Duck Norris, how are you doing? It just doesn't rain long enough or enough in this game for my liking. I'm sure on the original Hunter it used to rain a lot more for a lot longer. I mean, obviously we're on a Spanish map, but... That's definitely a hut. No, I've not seen a slider for rain probability. I don't even think you can set, like, the weather or the season or anything like that. I think it's just all controlled by the game. That's a good one to have. I wonder what this is. Pretty big maps, they really are. There's a hut there that we need.
I scrub this. Down the road, grab this, and then we can head over here. There's probably another one, though. This terrain is brutal. and Hirschfeld and Rain most of the maps, yeah. Yeah, they're very kind of wet. Wet maps, for sure. Sounds like a mower. It's basically a similar engine. <laughs> Another one claimed. Wait, what do you do with the mower? <laughs> Wait, you just... What? <laughs> it just put a building in the way and... Sp oh, right, okay. <laughs> Scumbag game. That bridge looks fun. You know what, Mr. Squirrel hasn't brought me a cup of tea in ages. I think I've been forgotten. Odd bike sim, you're not kidding. I wish you could get like different quad bikes though. All you can do is get a different colour one. I wish they did like more powerful ones and stuff, or maybe ones with carrying capacity. You could put a tent in the back. just wolves all the time but you never see them
this bridge is, is built deliberately so that you can't just drive off it and go yellow. There's no thumb accelerator lever. Yeah, there is. He just doesn't touch it. It's on his right thumb, look. He just doesn't press it. Well, there are some bridges in this game that you can drive off. I've done it. And some big cliffs as well. See if it's trapped my vehicle again. Hmm, it's not bothered this time. Right, what does she want us to go there for? Go to Gotham Memorial and tidy it up. Hernandez, thank you for almost three years. <laughs> uh, CTL Farm Boy, thank you very much for subbing. Welcome to the Nut House. Thank you for your sub. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to end badly. don't you think he makes them from wild flowers that he finds on his travels my mother used to make them too i just bought a tracer arrow right in the middle of the statue's head it's not blood it's a tracer arrow i think that's an improvement that looks pretty good uh it's Photograph and tidy. It doesn't tell me how to tidy it. She was such a wonderful person. Oh yeah. She always tried to get the most out of every day. Oh, it's nice and tidy now. Seemed to rest. It's a shame that you never met her. I think you two would have got on well. She loved walking those trails as much as anyone else I've ever met. <laughs> My father used to joke that she only married him so she could spend her weekends in the woods. Aye, aye. Aye. Since we lost her, I've been trying to keep it together here, but I honestly don't know if I'm doing enough. I thought that revitalizing the outpost would help, but we need more. Padre Abbas has been very kind to me, and I know that he trusts me to do what's right. 
His counsel has been invaluable. I want to thank him for his support. He's putting a book together, and I think we can help him with his work. Now we can help him. I have told him how to get in touch with you. I take it as a personal favor if you helped him out. He doesn't ask for anything from me, but I want to pay him back. I want However, to pay him back by getting you to do something. the only person who could use some assistance. The reserve's resident vet has some concerns following your discovery of the dead goat and the wolf tracks. If a wolf strays out of his usual territory and kills a goat but does not feed, it can be an indicator of rabies. It's a worst case scenario, but we should consider it just in case. There are other potential reasons for this behavior. The thing is, this isn't the first time this has happened. It's not public knowledge, but I feel that now is the time to tell you. My mother's passing was... She was killed in a wolf attack. My father spent days afterwards trying to hunt down the wolf that did it. But ultimately, there is no way of knowing. He returned home and hasn't hunted since. I won't let it happen again. We need to establish if this is an isolated case or if there's a wider problem that we must tackle. First things first, we need a sample from a wolf in its home range. If it turns out to have signs of rabies, we know that we have a problem. If not, then we can adjust our strategy and explore any alternative possibilities. You can still harvest it, but we need the brain so that we can run some tests. Just, just one wolf, yeah? Okay. Harvest a wolf without damaging its brain. And that one is harvest two wolves as well. That one is to go around and do stuff. And that one's to kill two boars. But it has a picture of a wolf. Go figure. Okay, so where do we start looking for wolves, I wonder? Hmm... This terrain is not quad bike friendly. Mundo Financiero. Is that one of these places? Get Rob, how you doing? This thing's great downhill. <laughs> oh, I see. I thought you were on about an area of the map.
Well, look at that. I like wild boar. Won't let me spot them at 500 meters away. Hoggy, thank you for 15 months, sir. I love this game. I haven't made it quite as far as you have by the looks of things, though. It's it's a time sink, isn't it, at the end of the day, but it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Hope you're doing okay. Level 38. I've still got a ton of levels to go to get all the skill points and stuff. The mod's pretty good, Jake. It is in the it lets you see things further away, but you still can't mark them, which is kind of irritating. See, I think you should be able to spot anything that you can actually physically see. But the game's obviously hardwired differently. Um, I'm doing okay, Hoggy. Just got a some kind of mouth and throat infection going on, which I'm still waiting for a doctor to phone me about. But hey, apart from that pain, I'm doing all right. European hares are fast-moving, agile creatures. If you don't have the advantage of surprise, good luck making your shot. An escaping hare is a tricky target. Not with a grenade. I think they were on that field. Uh, Josh, 48 from 66 months. Thank you. So which field were they moving across? Was it that one? By the time you get down here, it kind of blends into one. What map is this? This is the um, Cuatro Colinas in Spain. Yesterday and day before, we was doing Silver Ridge, which is the new one. Sure, they were moving across this field. Can't see them anymore. animals lying down then. I kind of expect him to run across this field and head towards this ridge line, but I just can't see them at all. Dang it. Really, the first mission bug. Is there no way that you can reset that back? That's frustrating. Have you reported the problem? I feel like there should be a way in the mission list. There's no way of restarting any one of the mission items. There's no way of rolling it back. I 
like most most mission based games always have the ability to restart a mission but for some reason this one doesn't so when it bugs out you can't just restart it it's replanting the sign outside the mine you can do the action but it doesn't end the mission oh god i hated that mission because there's actually there's actually more than one that you have to plant i think there's like three or something but it doesn't really show you where they are you just have to wander around the entrance to the cave and then you accidentally stumble on them and that's that could be why the mission's not ended maybe you just need to plant two or three The game bugs out on progress lost. No, you just can't continue the missions on that map. Mixed grill from the Chinese. Noise. Get a sense of how steep this is from the console lines and the fact that this path does that. It's interesting though, there's no observation tower up here. There's just one there and there's one there, but there's nothing on here. question is where do we find wolves if you head off in this direction and see if we can see some stuff I still want to know what happened to that big pack of war ball we just saw. It just completely vanished. I can't even see any tracks. during the day animals tend to go through various cycles in the day depending on what animal they are like they'll have a rest period they'll have a feeding and watering period they'll have a period where they're looking for a mate they'll have a period where they're just resting they're all a little bit different like during the heat of the day normally they'll either be moving around or they'll be resting start and end of the day they'll generally go feeding all right weasel but yeah just up here there's just no tracks whatsoever let's see what this is Red deer. We don't have anything for a red deer. Yes, we do. Excuse me. I 
want to try and get to this bush. I'm sure I heard something. More than one. A road here, it's not red there. something here dude go away I don't want you go away Something right in front, which I'm hoping is the Ooh. She didn't move. I just did one anyway. Ridiculous. That was more of a stomach shot. I aimed a little bit too far back. I didn't lead it enough. It's going to be dead, but... still want to know what this is. thing is, for all we know, this here could be like a little hair or something. And it make the same noise as, as a deer. You see it, but it's there somewhere. Uh, 
Um, that seems to have frozen a very strange position. <laughs> I think it's... I think it's taxidermied itself. What's going on? <laughs> Is it dead? What's going on? <laughs> it's got an arrow in its neck and it's just like, I'm not dead, but I'm not alive. <laughs> I'm just striking the Instagram pose. I don't know whether to shoot it again or not. That was so weird. I've never seen that before. Wait, what does this guy want? Wait, what? So are we saying are we saying that the first arrow basically broke its leg so it couldn't move so it basically stood there with its leg in there because it's like well i can't move because i've got a broken leg and then the second one just killed it that's so bizarre Dear warning call. It was an influencer deer, is that what it was? That was a paid Instagram pose. It was close to being a silver, but not quite. Hey, Kenders, have more of Amazon's money. I can give you three months. Jeff's got enough, it's fine. Smithy, thank you for seven. Let's see if we can get these little need zones here. Row. That's what that is. Hello, 274 meters. It's got to be worth a shot. <sighs> Tagged and bagged. Let's go. No, I didn't hit his leg again. He's not lying down going, I can't get up. My leg's broken. Oh, hey. Nice of you to drop by. <laughs> 12. 
Wait a minute there, Mr. Boar. I know I've just broken your leg. Be right back. This is getting kind of weird. <laughs> Are we having a face off or something? What's going on? <laughs> Dude! Every time I get to 90 degrees, he turns towards me. This is so weird. I want to know what the first shot did. Wait, what? The first shot? Did 98% of the damage. No, I can't be right. Wait, what? The first shot, right, went straight through its skull and its jaw and did 98% damage. The second one, which went into its lung, did 2% damage. How does that work? It's again weird. Well, he completed the mission starting to bore me. Uh -huh. But if the first shot did 98% damage, why didn't he just drop there and then? Both lungs. Cheeky silver. You sure I went past the stack? I beg to differ, sir. That was 270.01 meters straight through the heart. I'll take that. Basically, the round hit it, and he just went, <laughs> I'm done. I'm going to taxidermize that. Even though it's only a silver, it's a good shot. How is it a silver? It's because the trophy is the trophy's not based on your shot. The trophy is based on the animal. I, I kind of feel there should be a separate... I don't know, like a separate reward scheme for the actual hunting side of it, shall we say? Like how well you tracked it, how well you killed it. What rifle? That was an M1. I'm kind of surprised that deer is on its own. I don't know if, if this stag here was part of that pack or someone else. Um, you may get more cash, but do you get more weapon skill? I don't know. No, the M1 is a DLC, a DLC gun. As is the, the composite bow that I'm using. Is that another one, though? That's worth 69 to 89. That's worth zero. It's a 260 meter shot. We can have a go, I suppose. Let's 
put a marker on it. May as well get the freebie. How can you tell what distance you're zeroed for that scope? So what I'm doing, Valtiel, is if you use a rangefinder, basically, when you get a rangefinder, this becomes easier, right? So you look at you look at um, an animal, and it's like I don't know, say a hundred and say it's like a hundred and sixty meters, like that. Yeah. Then when you get your rifle, if you've got zeroing capabilities, bottom left, you can change the zeroing from 75 to 300 to 150. So if you're trying to shoot something at 160, then you're probably going to aim 150, but you're going to have to aim slightly higher for 160. Whereas if you're trying to shoot something that's say, let's say you're trying to aim for 260 as I was, then you put it on 300 and you need to aim slightly lower than what you want because you're zeroed for 300. So if you're zeroed for a distance that's further away, then you need to aim down a little bit because the rifle is going to try and arc the round for 300 meters, but you only want it to go 260, so you need to push down slightly. If it's the other way around, if you're zeroed for 300 and it's 320 away, you need to aim up slightly to give it a bit more arc. It's, it's kind of a judgment thing. Um, and if you don't have a range finder, then what I used to do was like you take your binoculars out, spot an animal, change to this map view, put a marker on it like that. And then that gives you a, a, a rough estimate to how far away it is and use that instead. But you kind of need to know your distance to target. Otherwise, you know, it's kind of pot luck otherwise. That was a freebie. I'll take that. Hey, you'd be surprised how many people don't know anything about zeroing the gun. Honestly. They don't understand the concept of zeroing, or they kind of understand it, but don't get it enough to be able to accommodate it properly, like the lane too high or too low. Dude, where'd your head go? What's going on? What's going on? I never did this to you. Yeah, that's how the round went in. Straight into the lung. For a cheeky silver. Wait, somebody explain to me why that's a silver and not a gold. If, if the trophy rating of the animal is 79.8 and a gold is 68.4, why is that a silver? Oh, because I used the inappropriate ammo. Wait, what class was this? I didn't have the right ammo on it, apparently. Is it only a... Was it only a class two? Dang it. Robbed. Robbed. See that polymers for class four to eight. That's why. Meh. Oh well. I don't think there's much left around here. There you go, there's one. There's another one. That's approximately... Like a 
see three animals running around. Let's try and get on that ridge. Nah, the, the, the round isn't effective at that distance. A class four. Oh, wow, that timing. That timing. Points a gun and it goes. Yeah, the mod increases the, um, not just the draw distance, but the, um, despawn distance. So let, let's see, let's say you see an animal uh, a couple of hundred meters away and it starts running away from you. In the game, I think if it gets to about 400 meters or 420, it disappears and despawns. Whereas the mod basically pushes that back further. Um, I'm guessing that's an observation tower, yeah. It's a bit of a weird one. It's a drinking zone between... Ibex's horns may be shorter and straighter than those of the other subspecies you find here, but this just serves to make them unique. Ooh. Thoracic vertebrae. Spinal cord shot. Yeah, if you follow the basically you unpack the mod into your games installation folder like wherever you've got it installed in steam and then you run it with those startup parameters that it tells you you don't have to do the missions at all no, you can just go in there and just hunt. You can run around, take in the sights, kill things. Uh, yeah, Vardenator's running pretty well. I had a dash cam fitted to it yesterday. Wow, it's gone misty, look at that. I very much doubt these animals are going to still be here. heard something doesn't the uh, steam sale end today or has it already ended Tricky. Something very close to us. A European hair. Huh? A 
44 meters away. Do you reckon we can kill that? Is it this one? Well, they're not happy about that. Oh, he's moving around. I don't know if I hit or not. I think it did. Did that land? Oh, I just keep getting the color the wrong way around. <laughs> Get this rabbit. Um. Oh, that was a good shot. Strain the lung. <laughs> Sexy that one. Pretty tricky. See, judging by that circle, it implies something was killed here. Just grab this need zone over here. Those deer are still over though. Something nearby. Done it. What? 
instinctively lay down. <laughs> well, if I'm going to die, I'm going to pick my spot. <laughs> Two balls, not bad. Did you want to? Blah blah blah. Did you wait for them to fall asleep before you look? Before you took your shots? No need to be embarrassed. It's a good technique for a rookie hunter. Oh, shoot them in the sleep. Harvest two mouflon sheep. I've already harvested two of those. You scumbag. Um, I don't know from far from leveling. What does it show your actual XP? What does it show your current XP versus what you... Is in the codex? Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. We're a sliver away from level 40. Maybe another kill here will tip it over. Uh, the lookout point might do it, yeah. Yeah, it depends how, how it goes through the year, I think. I don't think they'll release it until it's ready. There must be something better than that here. the females was the male you coming over great stuff <laughs> what you hacker you utter hacker. Like, literally where the Y went like that, it just disappeared. That was... That was ridiculous. <laughs> Come on. 60 meters, I reckon we can do this. Oh, 
Oh, how? Why would you turn around? Why? Why? Why you do this? Don't know where the mail is. Oh man, that was a bad shot. Don't run away, come back. There's a friendly road deer in a bush over here. Need your help. Don't leave. Come on guys, I need your help. Don't worry about those arrows. Just things. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, you're not going anywhere. Playing for keeps now. Whoa, that was a manky wolf. You see that? That's some serious rabies going on there. That did not look like a normal wolf to me. The bronze spinal shot. Another bronze lung shot. Classic vertebrae. Surely that's made us level 40. Really? I thought I would have done it. Hey, Dave. Yeah, those wolves are definitely um, not normal. Anyway, it is four o'clock, guys, so I need to stop and take a break and come back in an hour's time. So I shall see you all very shortly. Gonna go and grab some food and stretch my legs and stuff. Yeah, Dave, you know, you get here, you smell, so I'm leaving. I'm streaming Friday afternoon, so I don't have to stream Sunday afternoon, so I can watch the Formula One, Dave. The other Dave. Anyway, I shall be back in an hour's time. Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Uh, if, you, if you're coming back, go and grab some food. Get ready for the second stream. Okay, see you in a bit. Bye for now.